Why does she have a photograph of my sister in her disguise drawer? I can work it out. Huh? What? What if she helped your sister to run away? Oh my gosh. What if she knows where Bailey is? She wouldn't. Right, Ethan? I wouldn't know. Do you not know anything about your sister? Apparently not. Evening. Hi, Katie. This is my mom, Amber. Pleasure to meet you, Amber. Likewise. Anyone want cookies? Sure. All right. And is Alea okay? Nope. Okay. Katie exits to get cookies. Maybe I should check on her. Leave it, Ethan. She's my sister, though. She lied to all of us. You're very protective of your friends, aren't you? It's fine, Chantel. I can't believe she did that to you. Um, maybe it'll be better to think about what's happening right now rather than the past. And Bailey could still be alive. Still won't bring back the last few years of her life. And we don't know when we'll find her. It could be tomorrow. It could be months. It could be years. Which is likely, considering it's already been years. She's not just going to turn up tomorrow. And it could still be never. What if we could find her? How? I don't have a lead. I don't have anything. But Alea does. What? I'm sure if we were nice and polite, she'd want to help you. Right? We've known her for a while, Kayla. She's always been really nice to us. I thought you didn't trust her. It's not that. I was just worried for you. You did seem a little shaken up. What did you expect? Nothing less. Katie enters with a large tin of cookies. Thanks, Mom. What's the plan now? We still have to help you. Are you sure? Yes, duh. Like I said, no other family deserves to go through what mine has. Now, I think there's a black wig in here that would really suit you. Don't you want us to help Bailey? Kayla. There's no guarantee I'll ever be able to get Bailey back, but there's a much larger guarantee that we can help you. Why would I not take that chance after everything? I know, but... Please, Amber. Your family needs you, miss you, and want to help you. And right now we're the only ones who can, because you can't talk to your brother. I really wish I could. Kayla hands Amber the black wigs and some bright blue lipstick. Even your Nico won't recognize you until you tell him it's you. Yeah, he's the only adult Ford and I actually trust. I don't blame you for not wanting to trust anyone. How will Nico actually be able to help me? I'm not sure, but he's an adult. He'll have more of an idea than we do. I suppose. Ford, where did you go? To my home. But you never call it home. You always refer to it as a house. Why do you look like you've been crying? Probably because he has. Not helpful, Autumn. I meant why was he crying? I was asking him what happened at his house. You can't hate Autumn forever, Johnny. Yes, I can. Anyway, moving on. To answer your question, Freddy... Mom was there. Rose? And what's so special about her being there? Isn't she always there? She spoke to me. Ugh, what did she say this time? She's not the reason I was crying. Then why were you crying? Because, because all this time, Yvonne was blackmailing my mom. What? what? Um, triplets? In what way, Ford? My mom finally showed me the letters exchanged by her and Yvonne. Letters? That's old school. It's Yvonne, Johnny. She does what she wants, when she wants, and whatever works best for her. Why would letters be easier than a text? Mom probably blocked her number. You can change your number, or you can make it so it appears to be a private number. And? She's Yvonne. What if your mom forged the letters to earn back your trust? Johnny! I don't trust her, Ford! I know what Yvonne's handwriting looks like. Why are you so quick to trust her again? I'm not! Well, you seem to be. Stop! She had her reasons, and I never said I fully trust her now. Autumn is ignored. 
None of us were quick to trust Kara again, and it's a good job we didn't. What if this turns into a similar situation? My mom never murdered someone. Kara did, and she still tried to win our trust back. You don't know she didn't. Excuse me? She's my mom, Johnny. Kara is my sister. And remember how much Eliana hurt you? I've known my mom for my whole life. Eliana was a stranger. This is my mom, and we both lost someone eight years ago. We just dealt with it in different ways. You never learn, Ford! What? I do! My mom's a lot different to Eliana and Kara. She's Yvonne's sister! She's not Yvonne. She could be. Wasn't their father horrible? Not relevant. I've known my mom for 12 years. Kara I knew for two days before the incident. And Eliana I knew for two minutes before I trusted her. My mom was right when it came to that. She told me to stay away from Eliana. I refuse to believe a word you're saying. Don't come running back to me when you realize you made a mistake trusting your mom. I didn't trust- Johnny runs out of the wedding room quickly and noisily. Johnny, wait! Um... You two don't say a word to anyone. You know how gossip spreads. I can't get over how quickly people found out about me and Eve talking to Kara. Exactly. So... what happens now? We find Amber? At least, I wish. That won't happen. What do you know about my sister? Um... Moving on. Johnny can't even trust his own nice cousin. Don't worry about me, Ford. I'm going to go to my room now. See you later? Sure. Autumn leaves the room. Why are we always arguing? I thought- Thought what? That everything would change. I vowed to never fall out with Johnny again. What have I done? What if we can't fix this? What if he breaks my trust? Then I'll have almost no one left. He was my first friend. You and Johnny fix everything, though. Maybe not this time. Friendship means everything to me, Freddy, and- Hi. Hi again, Lila. Is Johnny okay? I, um, don't think so. What happened? Nothing. I don't think that's true. Freddy, is that true? Uh, maybe. Now, no lying. What happened? I spoke to my mom. And? Johnny didn't like it. Oh. I, um, should probably leave. See you later, Freddy. Ford, sorry I didn't- He'd already left. That party broke up quickly. Party? You, um, could say that. What should I do now? Ford needs a friend, Freddy. And it looks like you're the only one that can be there for him. Yeah. Are you sure about this? Of course. Your house is huge, Courtney. Exactly. What? It means that Bailey can totally stay. How do you even find everything here? You learn quickly, Livy. When did you move here? When I was, like, three. Which school were you at before? The one a few feet down the road. I was bullied. I wouldn't want to go back there, so I chose your school and I'm glad I did. I thought you were tough. No one deserves to be bullied, Livy. Of course. Livy wondered if this conversation would end up turning on her. This looks awkward. Don't worry about it. Livy tries to change the subject. Why don't we play a game or watch TV or something? Um, sure. Am I missing anything? Maybe. I just wish she'd confided in me more. Chloe? Who do you think? She had her reasons though, didn't she? Of course. Doesn't everyone? Well... Be fair, her more than most. She meant well. Yes, and it resulted in her death. Maybe if she'd just spoken to someone, me, it would have had a very different outcome. You can learn from the past, but you can't change the past. Yeah, my plan is not to get myself in danger, if at all avoidable. It's to avenge Chloe. She wouldn't want me getting hurt. Of course she wouldn't. She wouldn't know if I did, but... You want to do this for her, right? Yes. What if I know too much, though? What if what happened to her happens to me, too? Well, there is one difference this time. And what is that? That you're not working alone. You do not have to help me. I do! Why are you so nice to me? Because people deserve kindness. Not me. Not after what I did. Everyone deserves forgiveness and a second chance. Just maybe not a third or fourth chance. You mean Kara, don't you? You've heard of her, right? Yeah, I do. No one is as bad as her, or Yvonne for that matter. And that includes you. You're not like them. 
You were just hurting. You don't intentionally try to destroy people. You just have your own way of dealing with things. No, bullying isn't permitted, but you had reasons. I never should have stooped to their level, though. It's in the past. I mean, so is Chloe's death, but we can still avenge her, which makes it all the more present. All right. I'm going to head out for a bit. Liliana says bye to Amy and heads out into the street on her crutches. So... She notices Eve standing by a tree kicking up clods of mud. Oh hey, your brother's annoying, however his friends are more annoying. Remember who you're talking to? His best friend is also my best friend. Right, whatever. Why do you always have to go out of your way to be rude? What? I'm not being rude, I, I just need to speak with your brother a lot, alright? We know each other, but he's 16. He doesn't need his younger sister looking out for him. You don't know anything. We spent our whole lives together. Just us two. Wait, actually you do. Yours and Kara's little pat when you were younger, and you must have known about me. Although Freddy is pretty good at keeping his mouth shut now that I think about it. Yeah, he is. And he needs to be. And why is that? He's finally started to piece his life back together again, and he doesn't need you pushing him back to square one. He needs my help. Help? What? I can help him. Ford can help him. You don't understand. Then enlighten me. Seriously. Whatever. Now, what exactly did you and Kara talk about? The past and how much I hate her. Everyone thinks you're working for her. Yes, I know that. And like I've said to so many people, I'm not. Give me one good reason why I should believe you. I hope you're as good as keeping your mouth shut as your brother is. I promise. Kara has plans. She's working against me and just to protect Freddy and Ford and Amber and everyone else, please. 